Hi, I'm Danny Silver. I'm the director of the School of Computer Science at Acadia University. And I grew up about 10 kilometers uh, north of here in a little village called Canning, Nova Scotia. And um, I'm a computer scientist, naturally. And I went to Acadia, as a matter of fact. I graduated from here a number of years ago and then worked in Halifax for quite a while. And after spending some time in Ontario, I find myself back in my home province and in my own community. And I'm pretty passionate about spreading the gospel <laughs> regarding information technology and its, and its many values and possibilities for, for this province, economically, culturally, and um, have, have really enjoyed uh, creating the uh, uh, robot programming competitions, which now are, are kind of at a pr provincial level. It's run out of Nova Scotia, but with a lot of cooperation and partnership with the Nova Scotia Community College. And um, it's affecting uh, young people, I think, in a positive way, and hopefully beginning to build a little cultural uh, change. So, uh, you know, uh, my image, I think, by, my, my picture, my vision for things are, in the future is that, you know, we have a province in which education in the newest of technologies, that of information technology, in the digital economy, um, occur within our school system, that it's embraced, and uh, that having been put in place, uh, I think about you know what type of people would be attracted to a province in which um, development of computing systems and, and digital systems is something that every student learns about. You know what kind of people, what kind of families would be attracted to come here? Uh, and I think that would be a very positive thing. And then furthermore, what would those parents of those kids be doing? And where would they be traveling to? What sort of businesses would they be connected to? You know, I think this is a, a, an awesome opportunity, particularly to one in which we know we have tremendous human resources and we've got great educational institutions at, at all level to make this type of thing happen. And the connections that information technology, digital um, um, technology can have with the arts, uh, with engineering and science, certainly with management and business opportunities, you know, from, from game development through to uh, the moving industry to uh, healthcare environment. There's just so many ways that one could go. And the opportunities that ensue for that, from setting up of the businesses to uh, education in, in those businesses, conferencing, uh, and all the things that we could do here so well connected to those. Ecotourism. You know, you come in, you know, you're, you're doing lifelong learning in one of these areas because we got people who are capable of doing it. And you also go and visit Cape Split or go on a tour around Cape Breton in a boat and sailing. These are all possibilities, fabulous things opportunities that we could, we could have here. Um, you know, but there are a lot of obstacles. The, the big challenges are cultural change, I think, for us. Uh, I've thought that for quite some time now. Cultural change is tough. And uh, even myself, in many ways, don't want to see that cultural change. We value, I think, in Nova Scotia, uh, being humble. We do. It's part, humility is a big part of the way we are. And we're not ones to toot our horn a lot. We're going to have to try to do that a little bit, a bit more, I think. We do have some incredible talent, and it's going to be important to embrace that and share it with the rest of the world if we're going to be successful. Um, I, I would agree that you know we like being a have-not in certain ways. There are some values, I guess, in that that we tend to cherish in certain ways, and we've got a lot of uh, little nuggets of companies and businesses and entrepreneurs around that stay very quiet about their and I don't think we have to look very far. All of us know about those people in our communities and, um, and seek them out at times for guidance on, on things. But, uh, you know, it's the way. The network that exists in our province, you know, that important kind of, you know, where are you from, you know, who, who do you know sort of thing exists. And, and, and that's kind of right of passage, right, into it. And um, that's not a bad thing. It's just that it's one that we have to use effectively on the, uh, on the world stage, I think. So, you know, I, my centroid here tends to be around information technology, but there's a cultural change, I think, that it has to occur in order for it to be, uh, to be successful in, in certain ways. And I do want to make a point um, about the fact that um, it really is technology I'm talking about. It's not about the business of technology. That will evolve. I think we want to be very careful in making sure that it, at least along with um, skills in management and in any other, any other areas of arts or science or, or business might ensue, that uh, ability to actually develop interesting technologies 
is is primal. It's it's certainly core. Um, the, at least in certain areas, we can't be be all end all in all technologies, but we have to be good in certain areas, because as we've seen with the um, steel industry in the past, with the automotive industry in the past, as goes the technology, eventually will go the big business. There'll still be sales, reps you'll need and stuff in this area, but the big business is actually creating the technology and, and um, innovation and interesting things in certain areas. So we've got the talent here. I've seen it over and over again in terms of the robotics competitions. Young kids, 11, 12 years of age, it's amazing what they're capable of doing. No question about it. It's, um, uh, it's a matter of engaging them as they move up the ladder into high school and then into, into, into university. We've got to have increased formal programs in our school systems that engage those minds, keep them in math and science and engineering and uh, allow them to you know, become all that they can be in this, in this area.